What's up, bozos? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be re-simulating Kobe's NBA career. I just slapped him in the 2022 draft list, and I'm going to simulate his entire career and see how he does. Uh, this is going to be a longer video for you guys. It took even longer for me to record. It probably took about an hour and a half of total time to record this video, but it's going to be way shorter for you. So here's the draft lottery. Rockets, Pistons, and Magic are at the top of the odds. Toronto wins the odds, Detroit is in sec gets the second pick, and Spurs gets the third pick. So let's see how where Kobe gets drafted in his new career, basically. So Toronto has the number one overall pick, and they pick Chet be because it's their 2022 draft class. And Detroit is up now. They pick our boy Kobe. And this is going to suck because he's on Detroit, and they're the worst basketball team. They have Upside and Cade, and he's an 81 overall, and hopefully him and Cade can bring a few championships to Detroit. Hopefully they don't win, like, just no championships, because it's going to suck. He's starting at the two guard, and let's just simulate his entire career. I'm going to simulate the first week of his career, and just see how he's doing. So first game, he gets 24, 4, and 3, and his second game, he gets 21, 3, 3, and one steal and then he gets 26 4 8 and 3 steals and then i'm just going to simulate three more games and then we'll be good to simulate the rest of the season don't you love the sim speeds on xbox they're so fast and they're horrible against okc he got 34 points and then against philadelphia he drops 18 5 and 3 points and three assists and then against the raptors he gets 14 points and two steals and two blocks so right now he's going to be averaging just under 23 points so the mvp was luca averaging his absurd numbers kobe does not win rookie of the year oh and where is he oh, i think i might have missed him oh there he is he's number one he's just averaged 19 and a half points three rounds and four and a half assists so he kind of got snubbed from that award and he gets the all nba first team for rookies or all rookie first team so that's good and so he jumps up five i didn't do the playoffs because they didn't make the playoffs so that's all good he jumps up five he's an 86 overall hopefully they can make the playoffs this up and coming season hopefully because they're detroit i don't have high hopes for him so he's not going to be starting it looks like he's going to be the sixth man so Let's just see how that works out. So Lamelo wins the MVP, and then here's the rest of the awards. So you could look at them, and they're the 15th seed, so I am not going to sim the playoffs. I'm going to go right into player progression and then sim the season. So Cade gets All-NBA second team, and Kobe gets nothing else. So let's just go right to player progression. So Kobe averaged t just about 22 points per game. And I have not gone to player progression yet, so let's go right now. So Kobe is a 90 overall right now. And yeah, so let's just get right into the season. Hopefully they can actually make the playoffs this time around. They're stuck at the worst team in the NBA right now, which is kind of disappointing. And it looks like we are going to be the first seed and LaMelo wins MVP again. And, oh, that's a great name. He definitely got bullied in high school for that one. And here's the rest of the awards for uh, the season. And there's Chet. He actually came up and went one most improved player. And he was actually on the first All-NBA first team. And there's Kate again. It looks like Kobe is not on the All-NBA list. But we were the first seed. So let's... And we were 66 and 16. And let's look at the stats really quick. So Kobe just averaged about 25 points per game and 5 assists, and Cade averaged 26, 8, and 5. So let's see if they could go win a championship and actually bring another championship to the Pistons. Because I don't want them just to get eliminated in the first round and never win a championship. And they beat Atlanta in 6, and they beat Cleveland in 5. Let's see if they could sw And they do sweep Charlotte. And now they're playing Min Minnesota, and now they're up 2-1, 3-1. And they take the championship. And Cade wins finals MVP. I don't know what Kobe averaged. And I'm not going to look. 
So now we're going into player progression. Kobe gets a nine up to a 94 overall, and Cade is a 95. And then there's this Eugene Thorpe guy who jumped up four. So he might be a quality guy to help us win more championships. So, yep, that's it. And hopefully we could actually bring back to back championships to this organization with Kobe and Cade. So let's just go right to the season. And here's our lineup. And look, what, here's what it's looking like. So let's just get to the end of the season. So now we're wrapping up. We're the first seed again. Hopefully we could go back to back. And yeah, LaMelo wins another MVP. Noel Houston wins Rookie of the Year. Don't know who that is. Nikola Vucevic is the sixth man. And then there's the other two awards. And I don't know if we're going to be on any All-NBA teams. And Kobe is. He's on the All-NBA third team. He just averaged about 27 points per game. And he did make an All-Star team, it looks like, this past year. It was his first All-Star team, which is kind of surprising. He averaged 25 this last the season before this so let's get right to the playoffs hopefully hopefully they could go back to back and it looks like they're going to the second round and they were getting the, the timberwolves back in the finals hopefully they could beat them again and it does not look like it they went in five so oh my gosh demar retires this is horrible i'm gonna over override that so he doesn't retire and let's get to the player progression and see what's going on Hopefully he's actually jumping up a lot more so we can actually get to something. So and I hopefully he leaves in free agency because I don't want him to stay in Detroit. And he only jumps up one and he's still twenty two. I kinda want him to get a ninety nine and be the best player on this team. But who knows what's gonna go on. And hopefully they could actually win another championship. I want them to be winning a lot of championships. So let's see what's going on and here's the lineup right now Eugene Thorpe looks like he's getting better a lot so let's see how they do and they were the first seed right now it looks like and LaMelo wins another MVP he's going crazy right now and Barney Wall wins rookie of the year shout out to you my boy hopefully you get big one day and hopefully you're a real person so you can go out and win that MVP and is there any of our people and Kobe gets on the All-NBA second team just about averaging the same amount of points and he shot 47 percent from three which is crazy so let's go to the playoffs to the first seed again so let's see what they could do hopefully they don't get eliminated in the first round and they do get out of the first round they sweep washington and they get eliminated in the eastern conference finals by boston and the rockets win and i think i saw jabari smith winning the finals mvp so let's see if he can actually jump up a little bit more in this um, the player progression. Let's see if he, could be, if he could be on the best player of the team ahead of Cade. Or he leaves. And they're both a 96 right now. So let's get to the start of the season and see if they could win a championship. Because I haven't done that in like a season or two. Yeah. Yes, two seasons. So let's see if they could get to the end. And they were the fifth seed right now. And it looks like they went a little bit down in standings, which is a little bit rough. That means they're getting worse. And Javier Martinez wins MVP, and he takes it from LaMelo. And Benedict Matherin wins Rookie of the Year. It seems like he just hasn't played in a while. So, yeah, and that guy averaged 16 rebounds per game. That's crazy. And let's see what's going on. And if there's... Oh, there's Kobe. He averaged... Um, 32 points per game this pet the other season and then 31 the other team I averaged I skipped one season because I think they were in the play in they didn't even make the playoffs but yeah I did skip over a few seasons because they didn't make the playoffs and there's Nikola Jokic on the Rockets again it seems like Nikola Jokic always goes to the Rockets in all the simulations even if I'm when I'm doing one in the free time he always goes to the Rockets it's kind of strange I don't know what's going on there <coughs> excuse me and Javier Martinez wins another MVP I think it's back to back or something I'm not completely sure but he averages 17 and a half rebounds per game which is crazy and there's Jaron Jackson Jr. I wasn't really looking at the other record or the awards and there's Kobe again he just averages under 30 points per game and six assists and he's doing 
He's shooting pretty good from three. I think he might be the one of the top ones. And we are back in the first seed, which is pretty good. Hopefully we don't get eliminated in the first round, and we do. That sucks. So, and it looks like Rockets made it the, or no, not the Rockets, the Raptors made it to the finals. I thought that was the Rockets, my bad. And Anthony Davis and Erlens Noel retires. This is horrible for the NBA. Hopefully they regret the decision and don't, and come back. And it looks like we're the seventh or sixth seed going into this next season for the fifth seed, and Chet wins MVP averaging about 19 and 15, which is pretty crazy. I wouldn't expect an MVP to be averaging those numbers, less than 20 points per game. And there's Kobe on the All-NBA first team averaging 32 points per game, and I think six assists was what I saw. That's pretty good, and we are the fifth seed, so let's see if we can actually make it far as the fifth seed. We make it past the first round, and we're facing Miami, and we lose t in the second round. This is bad, and Rockets are back in the finals, and there's Nikola Jokic again. And yeah, he always goes to the um, to the Rockets, kind of strange. And there's Kobe, he's a 95 overall. It's pretty swag that he's a 95. So, and now we're wrapping up the season. We are the, th it looks like going back and forth from the third and the fourth seed, and now we're just staying at the fourth and the fifth. So hopefully we can get a little bit higher in that, so we could get a higher standings. And... This Javier Martin guy, Martinez guys, wins another MVP, and he's been going pretty crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he has three MVPs, which is crazy. He might win a lot more. He's only 25, which is crazy. So, and here's all the other awards. Evan Mobley wins Defensive Player of the Year, and Kobe is on the All NBA First Team again. He averages about 29 points per game, five and a half rebounds, and just under six assists per game. So here's the playoffs. We are the we are the fourth seed, and we get past the first round, and but we do not get past the second round. So yeah, let's see what we can do. So we could see, let's see how much he progresses by. And right now he's still in 95, and he is 28, and this is his tenth. He's been in the league for 10 years, so I'm gonna just check about halfway through and see since it's half sorry i'm i can't speak right now since it's halfway through his career i'm gonna see what his like points are and he's at twenty one thousand points four thousand assists one thousand steals and he's made two thousand two hundred seventy six three pointers so it looks like he's gonna be headed to the top because he's only 28 and yeah i'm gonna check where he's on the all-time all-time leaders in the points and he's won one MVP one championships he's been seven all-stars appearances seven all-star appearances and a couple all NBA teams I couldn't read those quick enough because I was stuttering there I couldn't speak so let's check where he is on the all-time leaderboard so he's going all the way down here I wouldn't expect a lot from him and yeah he's down at 62 and he's at 21,000 points and yeah, field goal. And let's see where he's on assists. I don't expect it for him to be high on rebounds because he's a guard. And yeah, so I saw there's Co. I saw Kobe up there. I don't know. That's probably the real life Kobe that actually played. So let's go down further. And it looks like he's not up there on assists. And he's not going to be on the rebounds. So I'm not going to look. So that is all for the halfway point of his career. Let's get back to simulating. And right, he's 29, he's a 95 overall. This is the start of the next season. And he's on a three year, $140 million deal. And yeah, let's get back into it. And here's his recent stats, if you guys just really wanted to see that. Kate is a 94, he's 31 years old. And here's the Eugene Thorpe, he's an 88 overall. And other than that, this team kind of sucks. So let's get into simulating. And here's what the lineup looks like, sorry about that. And we, I'm just, I didn't mess with any rotations. I left it as a 10 man rotation and I'm, I wasn't going to mess with anything. So there are the fourth seed going to the end. Javier Martinez wins another MVP averaging 29 and 15 and five assists, which is, I think is crazy and a steal and 1.7 blocks. And that's, I feel like that guy's going to be up there in all time greats, even though he's a computer generalized, generated player. He's all up there on the, uh, simulating 2k leaderboards and we're the fourth 
fourth seed, so let's get into that. We are 47 and 35, and what did Kobe average? He just averaged about 25, 5, and 5, I think, is what I saw. So let's get into simulating. We sweep the Knicks in the first round. We sweep Atlanta, and we make it to the finals, but we get we lose in 5 to the Kings, which I don't really like to hear. That doesn't sound good, but it's whatever. It's the Kings, and... I did recognize that the play-in the play-in tournament was not there, so I just went to the rule change and changed that. And now it looks like we might be in the play-in. Who knows? We are the ninth seed right now, so let's see if we could actually make it out of the play-in. And we we are the ninth seed. And Javier Martinez wins another MVP. This guy is crazy. And I think I saw Evan Mobley winning a defensive another defensive player of the year. And yeah, I'm sure he did. So let's get into simulating. Hopefully they can make it out of the play-in. Let's see what Kobe averaged. Just about 23, 4.7 rebounds and 4.7 assists. He's going down in numbers. I don't like to see that. And they lose in the first round. So here's the next season. They actually went up into the, or the third seed now, which is pretty good. I like to see that. And now they're up to the second seed. Third seed, fourth seed, second seed. They're going back and forth right now. And Dyson Daniels comes in and wins another M wins a MVP, not another one. And there's Ty Ty Washington, and then there's another M Evan Mobley. So, I there's Dyson Daniels. He just won the MVP. There's Eugene Thorpe. He's coming in clutch and making an All NBA team. I think I saw. So let's get into simulating. Uh, well, first I'm gonna see what Kobe averaged. Just about 22, five and five. So let's actually get to simulating right now. We sweep Charlotte in the first round. We sweep Washington. And we lose in a conference finals against Boston. So here's our rotation. What it's looking like for this next season. Yeah, he's a 94 overall and he's 32 years old. He's coming close to the end of his career. So I'll try to speed it up on the end of the, towards right now. And yeah, I'll see him if... I'll skip through it if they they don't make the playoffs or if they're just a playing team. I'll just skip that and go right to the next season so you don't guys so so this video can end faster. I'm stuttering so much, guys. Sorry about that. And Javier Martinez wins another MVP. This guy is truly he might be the goat of winning MVPs. And I just saw Evan Mobley. He's winning a lot of Defensive Player of the Years. He's just a defensive monster. And there's Eugene Thorpe on the All-NBA third team, and we are the fifth seed right now. And there's Kobe. He is injured right now, but he kind of had a comeback season. wouldn't say it's a comeback season, though, because he only went up back three points, up to 25 points, but that doesn't really matter. He went back up. Yeah, so Kobe's injured, and hopefully he can come back in time, and hopefully we win, but we lose in the first round, and he's still injured. He's still at one to two weeks left on his injury, and we lose in the first round. So he's 33 now, and here's the start of the next season. He shot 48% from three this past season, so let's see what he does this season. And, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. Yeah, we are the third seed right now, and Jabari Smith Jr. wins... MVP and Marvin Ball wins Rookie of the Year. So let's see if Kobe was on the All NBA teams and see if we could win a championship. Another chance. They even actually won a championship in a while. He averaged 24, 5, and just under 6 assists per game. And he was in the All NBA second team. Hopefully, we can make it back to the finals and we don't make it out of the first round against Chicago. That is my team. My Chicago's beat Kobe Bryant. That's what I could say. So, Chet wins another MVP after a little bit. He averaged 17 and 14. And here's the rest of the awards. It looks like there's just going to be a lot of CPU-generated characters. So, I don't really care about them anymore. And Kobe's on the All-NBA third team. He averaged about 22 points per game. And we were the sixth seed this season, so let's see if we could be lucky and get to the finals and win. But it looks like the Bucks beat us. So here's Kobe. He's 35. He went down to an 88 overall. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing a little bit. But, yeah, he's starting at the small forward still. And 
Now it looks like we're going to be one of the lower seeds. We're like the sixth seed, and Justin Henry wins MVP. It looks like a lot of the centers are going to, or the big men are winning MVPs, which is kind of kind of cool. A lot of guards win MVPs, but now a lot of the centers are winning MVPs in this in this simulation. Basically, all the centers are winning MVPs, basically. So let's see what Kobe averaged, and he averaged about... 18 points per game, and he's 36 years old right now. He might be retiring soon. So let's see. We get we, we get out of the first round in seven. This is kind of bad because we're probably going to get swept in the next round. But we win one game, and now we're down 3-1. And we get... We lose in five. And so here's Kobe. He's 37. Now he's an 83 overall. I'm checking if he wants to retire after this or not. But yeah, he's getting lower on here, so he's probably going to retire soon. And it looks like we got a new center on the team. It looks like the uh, other guy left. I don't know what his name was, but Justin Henry's back. He wins another MVP. But it's 18 and 16, point, 16 rebounds per game. And let's see what we could do in the playoffs. Cade is on the NBA first team, but he's injured right now. He hasn't been averaging a whole lot, but early on he did. He's been probably... A, he looks like he's just averaging below 20 for a while because Kobe's just a pure score. We're the third seed. Hopefully we can get past Detroit. I mean, New York in the first round. And hopefully we can get past Boston. We do. And do we get to the finals after a while? We do. This is our, This could be our second championship. And Kobe is averaging 17, about 18 points in the playoffs. And we win game one. We win game two. We win game three. And we sweep the Portland Trail Blazers to win another championship. This is, this is good. And there's Kobe Bryant. He retires at age 37 after about 19 years of playing. For his career, he averaged just about 25 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, and 5.5 assists per game. He shot 53% from the field and 44% from three, which is honestly crazy. He's just about under 36,000 points and has about 7,671 assists, and he's made 4,000 three-pointers. So he's going to be up at the top of the top in three-pointers made. So he has one MVP, two championships. He's a 15-time All-Star, and there's all of his All-NBA teams that he's been on. So let's see where he ranks all-time on the all-time points list. And there he is, number six on the total points for his career. And field goals made, he's also number six at 13,000. And three-pointers made, let's see where he is. And he is at 16. So that is crazy. I would never expect Kobe to be at the top of the top at three-point shooters, but he was decent at threes, I guess. I'll have to give it to him. But yeah, now NBA is just a three-point game, and he's top 35 or 40 in assists. He was at 32. Steals, I'm not sure if he's going to be up there, but I will still check just in case. And the real Kobe and Kobe are at this, basically the same spot, five steals apart. I don't know which one's which. And let's see where he's on minutes. It doesn't really matter, but it looks like they're about the same spot. I think it was 12 and the 14th spot. Very similar numbers between the real one and the simulation one. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, thank you guys for watching. More career simulations coming on the way. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.